All right, guys, welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here with Stevie the Cat, and I'm ready to talk to you about Corey Sanhagen versus Song Yudong. The main event of this fight night card, and it's a great main event. You know, uh, Song Yudong is the one leveling up here. Corey Sanhagen's already been a main eventer. He's already fought for the title, and that's not to say he's on his way down. I still consider him a fighter on his way up. And Song Yudong, no doubt about it. With his resume and the fact that he's 24 years old, this is his first time leveling up here to that upper echelon, the the top echelon, really, because that's where I consider Sanhagen, and we'll see how he fares. You know, I, I have high hopes for him, I'm not going to lie, and a lot of that is because he's the underdog and his odds are more enticing. Oh yeah, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that horseshit. Song Yudong has been finished once. And it was years ago to a much more experienced fighter. And it was in the second round. Corey Sanhagen, he's been finished by Aljo, of course. But both of these guys are incredibly tough. They've shown it in their losses. They're incredibly tough guys. And I have it in my head this one's going to a decision. Now, when I look at a fight that goes to a decision between these two guys, I start to think of points. And the better point fighter is Corey Sanhagen. But... I like what I've seen from Song Yudong. I feel like he's trending better here. You know, just looking at him as a stock, like I always say. I look. I feel like he's trending better, and he's going to be a, a much tougher matchup than people give him credit for. He's got that power. He carries it late into the fight. His cardio concerned me a few years ago, but now those concerns have been alleviated. And I also think he's... You know, if he employs the right tactics, if he attacks Corey Sanhagen's body, he's going to slow this fight down and start to take over. They're going to have a lot more exchanges in tight. From the outset, Corey Sanhagen, it's Corey Sanhagen's fight from the outset. That's pretty much the story of most of his fights. I know TJ Dillashaw won round one against him, but generally speaking, Corey Sanhagen's opponents are going to drop around trying to figure him out. Thank you. Uh, drop around trying to figure him out. Uh, and slow him down, if not hurt him. I think Song Yudong will, after round one, you know, uh, I think any big moment in the fight will go to Song Yudong. That's just how I feel. I feel like his right hand's going to cash in, and even though I don't expect it to put Corey Sanhagen away, which is a possibility, it could he could put him away, I do think it's enough to put up points, slow Corey down, and change the course of the fight. Because... Corey Sanhagen's going to be doing very well in round one. And I know this seems like somebody who just watched Corey Sanhagen versus Peter Jan and thinks that's how every Sanhagen fight is going to go. I'm aware that Peter Jan is an exceptional fighter. He's great defensively, really tough to hurt. And on top of that, he's incredible technically everywhere. And he is a guy who's able to fight at a... High pace, not the highest pace. Like Corey Sanhagen will come out and start at a 10, and then that'll turn into a uh, an 8, and then a 7, and then a 4, and then whatever the fuck. You know, he slows down. And Piotr Jan just, he's able to ride at like seven and a half, eight for the whole fight. And that's his strength as a fighter. Song Yudong, I think, you know, he's, he's, inex he's not inexperienced. He's young, but he's not inexperienced. So I look at him as a 24-year-old, and... I don't expect too many youthful mistakes. I think he's already learned a lot of lessons. Before he came to the UFC, he fought this guy, Renat Andar. It might be Renat Andar, whatever. But uh, he lost to him twice, and the second of which was a five-round decision. Those losses don't look pretty on his resume because Andar was inexperienced, but he blossomed into a good fighter. Blossomed? What the fuck? But uh, nevertheless, Song Yudong has been five rounds, and despite me being concerned with his conditioning early on, earlier on, with his two fights against Marlon Vera and Cody Stamen, he didn't really look great in round three, he's really impressed me since then, just that, that pace he kept against uh, Julio Arce, which not even like it was the fastest pace, but that's what impressed me, and he carries that power late and put him away in round two, and even in his Kyler Phillips fight, which has come since those uh, two, two wins there, that's the other thing. Those two fights that I mentioned about Marlon Vera and Cody Stamen that gave me cause for concern about his cardio, 
he won those fights. He's 1-0 and 1 against them. He still put up enough points with his uh his big power in those first two rounds to win the win the fights and his output, of course. But anyway, going back to the Kyler Phillips fight, Kyler Phillips is the most uh similar fighter to Corey Sanhagen. And he won those first two rounds. But then Song Yidong slowed him down and took over in round three. This is a five-round fight. I'm not saying it's going to go exactly like that because Corey Sanhagen, I believe, is a superior fighter to uh, Kyler Phillips. But Song Yidong, he's a um, he's really coming into his own. He's incredibly durable, and I know he's you know good enough defensively. I believe not to get knocked out or knocked around by Corey Sanhagen where he's going to mitigate any big moments, you know, there's no, I don't see any 10-8 rounds for Corey Sanhagen, and after that, it's a matter of slowing him down, if he employs good counter shots to the body, as Corey Sanhagen's getting in close, and leg kicks, of course, if possible, I think Song Yidong does start to take over this fight, and my prediction with a gun to my head, Song Yidong wins a tight decision, so I'm going Song Yidong, I'm betting on him at plus 160, that's the money line, and of course that covers the knockout, which I'm not uh, predicting, but with Song Yidong's power, uh, it's absolutely possible. And it uh, also covers the decision, which is my pick. I think he wins a tight decision. Now, you can also get his decision line at plus 400, but again, you know, I'm not uh, married to that. It's still juicy odds there. But uh, Song Yidong is one powerful fighter. And in a five-round fight, I just I get scared about decisions. Corey Sanhagen, you know, on paper should win this fight. I just think, you know, of all uh, Sanhagen's opponents, Song Yidong could look to the John Lineker fight and say, I can do that. I can do that and I can be that guy. And broadly speaking, they are very similar fighters. And again, Corey Sanhagen won that fight. But it was a razor-thin split decision, and he wasn't able to work his magic. You know, it's totally different from a fight like he had with a Sun Sal. Uh, John Lineker is that guy who's just a tank with harder power, and he uses it very well. He stalks his opponents. He doesn't make them look good. He was throwing off Sanhagen's movement. And I think uh, Chong Yidong is perfectly, cap perfectly capable of fighting that fight. So... Will it be the Kyler Phillips fight against Song Yidong or the John Lineker fight against Corey Sanhagen? I'm leaning more towards a tight, close fight like uh, the Lineker fight. And I also think Song Yidong is going to be the one uh, flourishing at the end. I almost said blossoming again. But he's going to be the one doing well in the end, getting stronger or getting less weak. Uh, Corey Sanhagen, that's just one thing with him where he looks so good when he's fighting at 100% that even if the fight is close, he looks so drastically de depleted and diminished by the time he's, you know, in the middle of a deep fight where he's not dancing around anymore and he's been chopped up a little bit that it's just not good optics. And I think Song Yidong is going to be looking better. I favor him to win a decision. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All that horse shit.